Hello everyone. I am Mili Trivedi and we will going to learn about DDA algorithm for line and the program for the DDA algorithm for the line. Okay, so now let us start. What is the DDA algorithm of line? So here we have to understand that the equation of line is equal to y is equal to mx plus c. Now the line is completely depend upon the x value as well as y value. Now DDA means digital differential analyzer is solely depend upon different steps of incremental value of x and y. So here we have to consider that first suppose what is slope m because it is solely depend upon slope m. Now what is slope m? So it is y2 minus y1 or yk plus 1 minus yk upon xk plus 1 minus xk. It means two respective values incremental or decremental will give us the slope value. Now it is having three different values like m less than 1 like m is equal to 1 and m greater than 1. If m is less than 1 the increment in x is as it is but there is not any increment in y as so much there is just plus m increment in y if slope is equal to 1 so in both the cases in x and y there are two increments it means xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 now if slope is greater than 1 so there will be the increment in y direction but there will not have any increment uh, as such the y direction it means in the x uh, coordinate there is increment of plus 1 by m okay so here we will learn about the basic algorithm let us have the c program for the same so here with the c programming let us start with the turbo c and we have to find out the new file let us first start our program these are our starting codes known as include studio dot h include conio dot h Our next code is include graphics dot h then include math dot h let us save this file and give the name of this file so the name of this file will be of uh, kind of DDA line and save. For this you have to check uh, what is the path of this uh, program where you are storing this uh, turbo C. So this is most important. Now let us start our programming. First is void main. Then we have to find out the integer values we have to write down the integer values they are like integer gd uh, actually it is g driver and that is equal to detect then gm which is known as g mode and i i is an incremental value so here we are giving the values then float so what are the float value it is x y dx dy and m and then semicolon then again now integer values they are x1 y1 x2 y2 each and every value have to be separated with the comma and uh, finally at the end we have to put the semicolon now let us initiate the graph where we will initiate the graph we will initiate the graph at driver as well as mode and we have to write down the path at here which is uh, c drive turbo c3 bgi in my case my path is this so we are storing this 
uh, program in C drive. Now let us uh, make the background color. So the code of the background color is set back color and uh, I am selecting the white color. So let us write down set bk color white and uh, semicolon. Then whatever we need to print our values it should be in the semicolon. Hence let us write printf and the value is enter the starting point slash n. And it should be written in the semicolon so that it will be uh, represented on a screen. It will be uh, shown on the screen and we can put and we can enter the values of the same. Now what we have to scan? It means the values of our scanning that is percentage D, percentage D and X1 and Y1. And similar things we are repeating with the another point known as enter the ending point. And after that, let us have percentage D, percentage D. This should be written in the semicolon and X2 and Y2. So that this will give us the parameter value starting and ending point. Now let us put the original equation which is DX. Now what is the DX value? It is float X2 minus X1. Next is dy which is float y2 minus y1 Now let us write down the condition if dx is greater than or equal to dy. Now if we are putting the condition we do not need to put the semicolon at here particularly at here. Now let us write condition m is equal to dx. If dx is greater than or equal to dy uh, we have to put m is equal to dx otherwise m is equal to dy. and completed with the semicolon. Now dx is equal to what we need to take dx by m and dy that is equal to we have to take dy by m. So these are the conditions uh, for putting our points. Now let us write x is equal to x1 and y is equal to y1. Here by mistake I write y a and we will uh, later on uh, check if uh, it will consider it as an error or not. Now let us take the incremental value i is equal to 1. Now while i is less than or equal to m what is the pixel value? So put pixel at x y red. So we will put the pixel in the red form. Next x plus plus is equal to dx and y plus is equal to dy. Now let us have the incremental value i is equal to i plus 1. Then get ch and finally 
close graph and let us close the graph okay so here there is one error found as i told you so instead of y a we have to put y1 and let us check the error so it is now let us start our programming enter starting point 30 30 and ending point let us put 500 500 and our line will be generated as this okay so this is our program and if you have any query you can contact me we can change the uh, color if instead of red color we can put yellow or instead of yellow we can put white or anything else and we will get the exact value of the same so let us write uh, the uh, color so here pixel color will be white and back color background color let us change the background color as black again let us check and start see you can see at here the background color is changed here we are putting the starting and ending point and we will generate the line so thank you so much student if you have any query you can ask me thank you